Hi everyone, welcome to Prefusion. So you are watching this video because you might have matched up your gate 2024 attempt or you might have matched up your gate 2025 attempt or like two years back, three years back or even four years back, you might have matched up your J attempt. So one of the attempt you have matched up, you have certainly failed in some of the competitive examination and that's why we are watching this video. I also belong to the same category and today I am making this video. So who is responsible for your J failure or who is responsible for your gate failure? NTA, National Testing Agency who conducted the examination or IITs who conducted J advance or gate examination. Who is responsible? They set a very tough question paper or they set a very easy question paper or there were more number of students in your shift or your shift became very easy or your shift became very difficult. Who is responsible for your failure? Are they responsible? Absolutely not. There is only one person who is responsible for your failure and that is you yourself. The day when you accept this thing, you will be learning something pretty good in your life. The first thing you need to accept that whatever that is going in my life, if there is something wrong going in my life, then there is only one guy who should be blamed and that is you. Start taking blame on yourself. And the day you take blame on yourself, you will be certainly improving yourself. Certainly you will be improving. Otherwise you will just keep on blaming, otherwise you will just keep on making excuses, you will just uh, keep on making the excuses of getting out of that trouble and uh, you will be not improving at all. Okay, this year intelligent guys sat in my shift, AIR1 guy from third year, they are so intelligent, they are from tier 1 college, they are from tier 2 college, they are that thing, they, they have that much curriculum, they have this much thing. Keep on blaming and you will be not learning anything. But the day you accept that, it should be on me. If I am not doing well, that means the responsibility will be of me. There is no one who, who is going to come and write down the examination for me. No, there is no one. It's me who have to improve. I am studying from a particular teacher. The same student is studying from that particular teacher only and he is performing well. So who is there to blame? The teacher or the student? No, none. You are the one who has not performed well. You need to improve. That's it. If you want to change your resource, change it. If you even want to change your examination, change it. But you can only shape your life. No educator, no teacher and no one else is going to shape your life. You need to shape your life on your own. This is like a very interesting example I always give about MS. MS Dhoni, the cricketer. Look, I'm not a great fan of MS because since my childhood from 2011 onwards, I have been a fan of uh, Gautam Gambhir. And if you are a fan of uh, Double G, then you know you can't be a fan of MS Dhoni. Look, I'm not a hater and uh, I'm neither a fan. Okay. So I'm neutral, neutral to Amazon, but something is very inspiring about his life. So if you have seen his movie, so there was a scene like uh, there was a scored announcement for under 16 team or I guess under 19 team. So they announced the scored and they did not even take the name of MS. They, uh, they announced a 15 member scored and then they announced some three to four members more, but they did not even consider MS at all. So his friends were listening to the radio and uh, they said that they all are frauds. Uh, they don't even consider MS. Uh, uh, it's all politics and all these kind of things and they were so disappointed but ms came there and he said which movie we should be watching because he was not stressed at all why he was not stressed why he was not disappointed because he had seen yuras singh on the field in under 16 he had seen yuras singh playing on the field his team scored 338 run but yuras singh scored 319 uh, 339 run yuras is yuras was scoring more than his team forget about the player Yuraj was scoring more than himself, more than the team itself, right? And he knew that these kind of guys are getting selected in the team, not me. My friends will be having sympathy for me. My family will be having sympathy for me. They would be feeling like that, okay, something wrong has happened with this guy. But I know who are getting selected in the team. Those guys who are scoring more than the team, more than my team, they are getting selected. So where am I? I need to improve more. I need to work hard more. And that they... And at that day, he accepted that thing and he started working harder. And the same MS became the captain of Indian team. And under his captaincy, the same team won 2007 World Cup and 2011 World Cup. So at that time, there was two choices for MS. He could have blamed BCCI. He could have blamed the selectors that the, this thing happened, that thing happened. Or he could have worked hard. And he chose the second path and you know where he stands today. Okay, if you are a Gen G, like this I have seen in Gen Z that uh, there is a trend of hitting MS Dhoni in Generation Z in these new new guys. They, they feel that it is cool to hit MS Dhoni. Yeah, so we are not discussing cricket here. I am just telling that how inspiration it is, how inspirational it is. 
you can take an inspiration from him and there are certain like there are a lot of examples i will give my own example like i did my everything in g i gave my everything i studied all night everything i could do i was in quota i did everything and in the worst case i was expecting that i would get a rank around 4000 5000 5000 in j and uh, i would be getting into a good college but what happened at that time nta came into action and uh, there was shift uh, january shift uh, april shift uh, there was eight shift and uh, something got matched up and i got 18000 rank and, uh, yeah this rank is dream for a lot of people but uh, according to me at that time it felt like that uh, i completely matched it up and uh, it might have happened because of mta they introduced percentile system uh, they introduced this thing that thing so i started blaming nta at that time okay i was having 18000 rank but that is the bottom line no one will give you the admission based on that sir i have great i have a great concept i am very hard working sir i did minor mistakes sir nta came into action this thing happened that thing happened no, no one will give you admission based on that they will see your rank and they will see the cutoff and based on that they will give you the admission that's it that's the bottom line and any day you need to accept it so at that point of time i just realized that whatever the hard work that i am doing that might not be enough there are 18000 people more than me there are people having rank better than me and these people are 18000 so i need to improve much more to do well in my life and at that time i realized that it took me time it took me one day two day it took me even months as well so after months i realized that yeah i need to work much harder than whatever that i was doing if your best is 8 hours try putting 10 hours whenever i say push yourself what is the meaning of that push yourself means push your best if you feel like that sir my best is 8 hours i cannot study more than 8 hours if you are consistently if you are consistently studying 8 hours and still it is not giving you it is not giving you the results that you want then you need to study 10 hours i am not saying that in your gateway version you should study 10, 10 hours no some people might need to study only 4 hours they will do very well some might need to study only 2 hours they will do very well but it's you who need to recognize what is your best your best could be 7 hours 8 hours or even 10 hours and even after putting 10 hours if you are not getting the results then it's your responsibility that tomorrow i will study 12 hours so this is what i say you need to push yourself never ever compare yourself with some other guy your competition is with you yourself you need to compete to yourself whatever that i was doing yesterday whatever the guy i was yesterday i need to beat that guy and i need to be better than yesterday's guy that's it i should be better than yesterday's himanshu agarwal and if i am doing that i am winning my life this is the win right so this is what i say if you keep on taking the blame on, on yourself if you just realize that whatever that is happening in my life if something wrong is happening in my life then who should be responsible for that i will be responsible for that and if you take that that responsibility then certainly you will be improving yourself and just take a paper today just take a paper today write down there gate 2026 air under 100 and stick that paper on your wall and believe me guys if you just work hard for that there is, there will be no one to stop you in the examination hall no matter if you are having the worst day of your life you will be still getting that rank do it today write it down on the paper and just stick to your wall in front of you and keep on working hard it's not that only i will write it down and my job is done, my job is done and i will be getting a rank under 100 no you need to work hard for that i told you last in last attempt if you studied 8 hours per day it not it did not give you the desired desirable results so you will study 10 hours per day this year or 12 hours per day you will improve yourself from the past year's attempt. You will analyze your mistake. You will see where you are lagging and then you will improve in that manner. Are you getting this point? So do this today and believe me guys, all the natural power will come to you. Every single thing will come to you in the examination hall and you will be certainly getting the rank. And today I am telling it, after one year you will come back here, after nine months you will come back here and you will be writing down that sir, yes, it did, it did help. When I was preparing, I was having the same thing with me. Okay? So these are the natural power which actually support you if you have done the hard work, okay? If you haven't done the uh, required work, then it might happen that you will be doing minor mistakes, this thing, that thing. Yeah, it happens. Minor mistakes do happen. I know. Uh, people having greater concept, people having a great, great concept, they end up getting a very lower rank. Yeah, it happens. But if you are again going for it, have that confidence that you should have the capability of blaming yourself and you should have the capability of doing well in the next attempt. That's it. That's the bottom line. And this is what I wanted to deliver in this particular video. I hope the message is clear. And today, again, if you are lagging behind, if you are having the lesser motivation, if you are lagging behind in the motivation today, I hope you would have got the 
desirable motivation i hope you would have got whatever that was required to get you motivated for your studying so now i hope you will be turning off your youtube and started studying thank you very much